All right, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to look at a graph and state the intervals of increasing and decreasing. If you do not know what interval notation is, I recommend you uh, watch my video or someone else's video on interval notation. Uh, otherwise, you may not understand uh, how I'm displaying the answers. All right, and as you can see, the title of the lesson is really all about increasing and decreasing functions. Uh, but really, this is also an application of interval notation. So uh, what you saw in the lesson for uh, interval notation is just writing the notation for the sake of the notation. But this is really how you see this notation applied in a context. Now, first of all, um, as you can see, these are the functions that uh, they're both quadratics because they have a degree or an exponent of 2. All right, and whenever you have an exp a polynomial of degree 2, you're going to have either a happy face or a sad face graph. And here, the coefficient of x squared is negative. So you have a sad face, and the coefficient of x squared here is positive, so you have a happy face. And I kind of mixed up the vertex for you. So you see a different contrast that here, the 6 just simply moves the graph up 6 units. And yeah, this little 6 here moves the graph up 6 units. Uh, this moves the graph down 4 units. And it, whenever you affect the input of a function, it moves the graph either east or west. And in this case, since it's a plus 2, it takes a negative 2 to zero that piece out. So the vertex gets shifted from the origin, 0, 0. It moves left 2 units and down 4 units. In this case, the plus 6 just moves the graph up 6 units. All right, so it's important that you uh, recognize uh, how these functions came about. And these graphs are not to scale. They're just quick little sketches to illustrate. Uh, once again, these uh, graphs are not to scale. They're quick little sketches to illustrate uh, the truth here. All right, so uh, let's first talk about the domain of both of these functions. Uh, looking at the function here, there are no square roots, and there are no uh, fractions with variables in the denominator. So there are no restrictions on x, and we'd say that there are that would be all real numbers. So the domain for both of these functions is all real numbers. And graphically speaking, the graph goes forever to the left and goes forever to the right. And that's what the domain is. The domain is the x values. Now you may be looking at this function saying, hey, the graph's going forever down. It's not going left and right. It's actually doing both. So remember, domain is only in regards to the x-axis or east or west. So whenever I look at a graph, and I'm speaking about domain, you're only looking left and right. So yes, even though the function is going down forever, it's also going to the left forever as it's going down. So it's getting wider, and this is getting wider as well. So as it's going down, it's also going to the right forever. So the domain will be all real numbers for both of them for that reason. Okay, now as far as the range is concerned, as far as the range is concerned, now the range is the y values. So in this case, looking at the graph, we're looking at the y values. And in this case, the highest the graph goes is a 6, and then it goes forever down this way. Okay, so in this case, we would say that y is less than here we go, less than or equal to 6, but in interval notation we would write, write that as, uh, here we go, negative infinity all the way up to 6. And we would put a bracket on the 6 there because it includes the 6. The range for this guy here, in this case the lowest the function goes is a negative 4 and it includes negative 4 so I'm going to put a bracket on that and the graph goes up forever so that is positive in infinity and I put a 
bracket around that. And in my previous video, I communicated and explained why you never put brackets on infinity. Okay, it's illogical. Uh, going back to my domain here, I forgot to write that in interval notation. The symbol for all real numbers is double bar r, but in interval notation, it would be negative infinity to infinity. So that would also be negative infinity to infinity. All right, now for the main event here, uh, increasing and decreasing. All right, and I'm going to erase all the drawings here to get a clean start. Now, as far as increasing is concerned, you're going to scan the graph from left to right, make believe that this is a roller coaster, and increasing and decreasing only looks at the x values. So we're only going to look at the graph in regards to x. So if this was a roller coaster and we were traveling from left to right, we would start out our journey going uphill. Okay, we would be going uphill. All right, so this graph is increasing from negative infinity to, what do you think, six? Nope, not six, because six is a y value. The x value is a zero. There's a zero here, okay? So even though it goes to the height of six, the x coordinate of that point is a zero. So it starts going from negative infinity to zero, and it's increasing. All right. Um, then the graph, once it hits its peak here, then it starts going downhill. Okay. It starts going downhill or decreasing from zero to infinity. Okay. Now this is going to play tricks with your brain a little bit because you may be saying, hey, this arrow is going down forever. Isn't down forever negative infinity? And I wrote a positive infinity. But remember, we're only looking at the x direction. And even though this arrow is going down forever, it's going right forever. And right forever is positive infinity. Left forever is negative infinity. Once again, interval notation in regards to increasing and decreasing only looks at the x direction. Okay, and I, I made the graph like that on purpose to, uh, to try to help you understand because uh, for a very long time students get very confused because when a graph is going downhill, they think that they're going to put negative infinity, but uh, down is negative in the y direction. All right, I hope I didn't beat a dead horse there, but um, I'm trying to prevent confusion. Uh, now, looking at the other graph, if this were a roller coaster ride and we're traveling from left to right, we would start our journey going downhill, okay? So this little piece here is going downhill or decreasing. Uh, technically, this graph does not have a beginning, okay, because there's an arrow there. So it's decreasing from negative infinity to negative 2, okay? So that would be the interval notation. That is all downhill or decreasing, okay? And once again, you may be saying, this graph is going up forever. This graph's going up forever. But up is a positive direction for y. That's positive infinity for y. And increasing, decreasing is only looking at the x direction, which is east and west. All right, so we start going downhill from negative infinity to negative 2, and then the graph starts going uphill, starting at negative 2 to positive infinity. And the reason why I put positive infinity here is not because the graph is going up, but because the graph is going to the right forever. All right, so in calculus and uh, pre-calculus, there are actually four different infinities. There is right forever. There is left forever. There is down forever. And there is up forever. And so just think about it in terms of northeast, south, and west. 
And as far as increasing and decreasing is concerned, scan the graph from left to right and state the intervals. And one last thing here, and this is kind of related to physics, notice at zero, I did not use brackets or include zero. And at negative two, I did not use a bracket but I use parentheses because I'm not including negative two. Now in physics, we would say that this point and this point at zero and at negative two, at that moment of time, the roller coaster is instantaneously at rest, which means it's not technically going uphill, it's not going downhill, it's zero. The, it's, um, in calculus, we'd say that the derivative is zero, or that the um, acceleration, no, not the acceleration, the velocity is zero. So it's a technicality. Your teacher may be nice to you if you put brackets on that. It may not be a big deal. But um, in this con in context, uh, zero and negative two is not at those points, at that moment of time, it's not going uphill or downhill, increasing or decreasing. So you would leave it off the interval. Good luck to you.